Pearl tutorial part 37 passing a web form where the method equals post in the previous tutorial we created a web form where the method equals post now we're going to capture that data in the script and print it out all our input fields in our form have key value pairs so name equals something and then the different fields all have their own names so to capture our post data when it is submitted we have a very special block of code that somebody has written that has become standard so I will copy and paste that block of code in. Okay, so when the form is submitted, this block of code will capture the data via standard in and basically read it into, first of all, an array of pairs and then put it into all the values key value pairs into a hash like so now you don't have to copy this block of code because I have a page on the web where you can just copy it from so I'll just give you that address now okay you can copy this block of code from this page on the web scriptsocket.com slash code dot php now after our block of code here has passed the data we can assign variable names to each of our values so first of all the user gave their name and that was name equals name so this is where we bring the word name back in and we're going to assign that the variable called name so this will be the person's name now next we had a bunch of food so so we assign them our variables burger, fries, coke, coffee, tea and then here are all the names that we gave now next we ask for the payment method so we can give that a variable name payment it comes from the word payment name equals payment we have the variable payment next we asked if they were a first time customer and perhaps to leave some comments so we capture them with our first time name equals first time and our comments and we assign them some variable names and then finally we had a hidden variable which is our store that the order came from I'll move all these up into one group so those are our variables once we've collected our variables we can print them out so I've created a confirmation order a block of HTML so we can print thank you name variable here is your order burger and if they've ordered a burger that will say yes same with fries coke coffee and tea if they've ordered this it'll just say yes next to it the payment type whether if they're a first time customer yes or no and any comments they make and the store that the order was made at now the next thing to do is upload the script to your server 
in ASCII mode, mod it 755, and we will proceed to our form, fill it in, and submit it. So after you have uploaded your script and uh, called it what you uh, called it in the action equals attribute of the opening form tag, of course, we can put some info in. So I'm going to have burger, fries, coke. I'm going to pay with my account because I've got an account with this restaurant. I'm not a first time customer and I say thanks a lot and now let's place our order and now we print out thank you Mark here is your order burger yes fries yes coke yes payment with the account first time customer no thanks a lot and our hidden form field, the Smith Street store. So that's how to pass a form with the post method. Keeps the data private with no query string.